Hi, so I'm sat outside in the sunshine and um, I've just been doing a little bit of gardening. So I thought I'd talk to you guys about what I think is the most forgotten thing for bug out bags. Like everybody always puts loads and loads and loads of pictures of their bug out bags up and nobody seems to have gardening tools with them. Like everyone's talking about the importance of self-sustainability these days and growing your own vegetables as a prepper and having the gardening skills. But I mean, a couple of little bits and bobs in your bag wouldn't make much weight difference and would be super, super useful if SHDF happens. So, uh, so these are what I would go for. Um, so to start off with, I mean, most bug out bags, prepper's gonna have, gonna have a knife, aren't you? So that is your kind of basic, really, really useful gardening tool um, for, uh, for all sorts of jobs. Um, and then I really, just to get my bill hook out again, I absolutely love my bill hook. Um, it's completely kind of multi-purpose um, and for clearing woodland, it's, uh, I've kind of had uh, Pixie Landmark 2 growing in my, uh, my new back garden with a castle view. And this has been the most useful, useful thing ever. So yeah, as a gardening implement, but also as a functional tool um, and something that you would be able to use and need to use if you were going to bug out. Um, but for gardening, foraging a good bill hook is absolutely fantastic um, I don't know why people go for machetes over bill hooks when you're kind of especially if you're in a country where you can like do a lot of foraging in woodland and stuff like the UK um, a bill hook is something that's really really great um, but I say as a gardening implement it is absolutely absolutely fantastic and I wouldn't be without it um, and then the next things are literally just these like it's it's just a really really silly thing that I think that people just kind of overlook and forget but I mean I guess if you're going to be getting a bug out bag together you're just going to be thinking like immediate survival but long-term survival these are absolutely absolutely indispensable and I mean they're quite large um, and you can get I've got a couple of little miniature I don't even know what this is it's like a weird giant little bird foot thing that's uh, that's absolutely fantastic so this and this are going in my bug out bag because they are absolutely teeny tiny hardly weigh anything um, and I mean to be fair that is really quite pointy so it could be used as a zombie apocalypse weapon for sure um, but yeah oh and the other thing that you should all put in your bug out bags I think is uh, is one of my favorite Favorite things a floppy bucket um, floppy buckets are absolutely absolutely fantastic if you're going to be setting up a camp anywhere and you're going to be wanting to gather rainwater if you've not got a water supply then a floppy bucket is brilliant because they really squish you can put them in your bag literally chuck them in the bottom of your bug out bag and just put stuff in them um, they are absolutely fantastic um, and as I say and as a gardening tool as well if you do end up having to bug out and settle somewhere then having the ability to kind of carry away weeds and stuff rather than just leaving it on piles and having to like move it by hand um, and to move soil and all sorts collecting molehill soil is a lot easier when you've got a good bucket um, rather than just trying to do it by handfuls or chuck it in a, like in a bag um, so yeah that's my bug out recommendations for uh, for for uh, if shit hits the fan and uh, and you want to get on the road and you want to get gardening eventually because it's something to think about they're not really going to be that readily available I don't think unless you can kind of go and scavenge at a garden centre um, so yeah that's uh, that's my thought for the day peace and love <laughs>